Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are playing Medieval 2 Total War, carrying on with our English campaign, of course, where last episode we were dealt a heavy blow at the Bridge of Toledo by none other than just catapults that were fielded by the Moors. They had all of array of other troops, but the catapults and the trebuchets dealt us the biggest blows. Now, they did advance on Toledo, and now here they are trying to take it. They've given the Spanish a bit of breathing space, and looking over the horizon, the Moors have a lot of troops lingering around Cordoba and also the Spanish, as we can see over here. The faction air leading two large armies here. And there's also the Spanish armies up here with a large garrison in Leon. So it looks as though we are kind of surrounded by all sides, but this is the army we are dealing with. Now, we do have some cavalry units in Toledo. We also have Charles Fade's army as well. We're going to take that off. We're going to do manual control. Hopefully, our cavalry can kill all of the artillery. And then it's a matter of just dealing with the siege engine. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Honor and glory await England, men. Okay. Where are they? They're going over here. Okay, that actually... Actually, you know what? I think that favours us, you know. If they would have gone there, they would have had a lot more walls to deal with. We have troops all the way... Oh my god, we have troops all the way over there. Right, okay, let's let's just sort this out. Right, archers are on the walls over here. Our reinforcements are coming in from that corner over there, which I think we will be okay without just for the time being. Now, let's turn skirmish mode off of the archers and crossbowmen. And now, cavalry, I want you guys to start coming out. I want you guys to come out. No doubt the trebuchets and the catapults are going to be firing off first. What are we dealing with on the siege engine? So, on the ladders, we've got some spearmen. On the rams, well, they've got a lot of rams here, haven't they? Some more spearmen, some swordsmen there. Spearmen and spearmen. So this really isn't great for our cavalry, to be honest. Although, as expected, they have actually brought their artillery up front first. We should be able to destroy the trebuchet, the catapults over here as well. Quite quickly, as long as... I think the trebuchets are going to stop first, because they will have a much greater distance. And we're probably going to have to charge them down first, actually, because I'm just worried that they actually might destroy our walls and a lot of our troops. But the fact they've actually gone on this side as well. Now, our troops over here, we only have the cavalry and the spearmen, so let's just bring these over here, just slowly, just so we can chase down any routers. Oh, we are now firing. Not great, to be honest. Not great. That's it, charge. I think we have the cannon towers, don't we? We have the cannon towers in place. Yeah, we have the cannon towers. A... Oh, no, 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 not, not these guys. No, you guys stay in there. You guys stay in there. Look at the size of these cannon towers. Now, this is going to bring all of the other troops up as well. So, I want you guys to go onto the catapults there. And we got the trebuchets, trebuchets. Right, come back, come back, come back. Let's not engage too much. We've got the units that we need to... Right, the catapults have now actually gone back. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's let the cannon towers do its work and let's bring the cavalry back. We're actually taking quite some casualties from our own cannon towers, unfortunately. Let's bring these cavalry over onto this side. Oh, I like... Oh, my God. That was just a direct hit on our cavalry. That wasn't great. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why didn't we get cavalry... Why didn't we get cannon towers sooner? Oh, you're going to run into them and you've just broken immediately. Oh, for God's sake. Why? Why do you do this? All right, well, you're going to run back into the settlement, which is... That's okay. Do you reckon we can pick off the general, actually? <gasps> Let's see if we can pick off the general. He's right there. Screw the artillery. Let's just go straight into the general. The general's right here as well. He's gonna. There he is. He's right there. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, the Yunettes have just realised what we're planning on doing. They've just realised what we're doing. Yeah, the Yunettes have just gone back. The cavalry's now regrouped. How are the other... Oh, the trebuchets are firing by the looks of it. How is the general doing? 27. I mean, these guys are probably going to rout, but as long as we can deal some heavy blows. Urban militia over... Oh, they're actually getting chased. Can you guys just run, please? Just run. Run. Run, 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 run. That's it. Do not engage with them. We need to engage with these generals' bodyguard right here. We've got some units just behind the gatehouse. They've left all their ladders. I think these guys are firing, aren't they? Yeah. What are you guys actually firing on? What are you guys actually firing on? We should be able to... Oh, look, if he's crossbowmen there, what are you guys? Crossbow militia as well. 
you guys can actually charge into these Pavis crossbowmen here. Hopefully you don't break. Hopefully you do not break. Oh, they're trying to fire on our towers. And they're just missing. They are just missing. 19 on them. These guys may break. But no, they are eager. I think our guys will break first, no doubt. Oh no, they're shaken. They're shaken. Oh, this is a lot of troops here. Can we try and set this ram on fire, guys? Can we try and set this ram on fire, please? Now, where is our infantry? Let's I'll put some more infantry up here just in case they actually brought these guys down. Now, bombards, I want you guys not to be here and just go all the way over there. You, you, and you. I want you guys to line up right behind here. I want you guys to line up right there. What have we got down here? Spearmen, spearmen, and some infantry. That's good. Now, how's the cavalry doing? How is the cavalry doing? 15. Okay, we're not doing too bad, although we are losing a lot of troops. Can you guys run onto the trebuchets, actually? Oh, what about the catapults? Go on. Actually, no. Go onto the trebuchets. Go onto the trebuchets. Mercenary PVs, crossbowmen, and catapults. Oh, the catapults. Oh, where's that going? Where's that going? Oh, our cavalry's just broken again. Our cavalry's just broken, and they have reached the gatehouse. They have just reached the gatehouse. Where is our other infantry? Oh, the other infantry's just routed and what they're going to do now because this is the, the smartest thing possible is go straight through the column of more infantry that's it let's see how many actually managed to get through this yep yeah. okay to arms my lord the enemy's ram has breached the gates the gatehouse is down and now thousands of troops line up in front of them we've got our general just here just for morale support and to see if there's any breaks in the side on the flanks over here we are going to have to hold firm again, holding this line. Now, here we go. They are all coming in. I want everybody running. I want everybody running right now. You guys need to come down here as well. Come down here right now. Oh, they've just broken. They've just broken. Oh, that's a good omen. That is good. Now, the bodyguard is coming in. The guys, hold the line. Please hold the line. Enable guard mode. Enable guard mode. Everybody, just hold the line. Do not break. Please do not break. Actually, no, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 hang on. Why? Yeah, there we go, there we go. You guys just fire on them. You guys just fire on them. We cannot let them come up onto the walls. I think we've still got trebuchets firing on us. But that's... The general lies dead. The general is... Look at this, it's just a mass of troops. Look at this. Oh my god, they're all going to break now. Hold, guys. Please hold. Hold. Do not break. There we go. A mass rout is ensuing amongst the more army. Now, where is that other general? Let's get our general down here. Our other general down here. Oh, oh we've got the spearmen coming in as well. We've got the spearmen coming in as well. I want you guys to charge down these, then these, then these. You are quite far away, but I do want to get you in there as fast as possible. How are we doing at the gatehouse? Oh my god, this is just a slaughter. This is just a slaughter. Oh, they're all routing. They are all routing. This is it. They've just completely broken. Oh my god. That's it. Push forward, lads. Push forward. What I want you to do now, what I'm going to get you to do, is go on the opposite side of the gatehouse. Go on the opposite side of the gatehouse and push through. Push through. That's it. Look at them go. Look at them go. All those shiny silver helmets. A beacon of hope. And they are just pushing these moors out of side our perimeter. The horsemen just falling apart over on this flank here. They just don't know what to do. They've got nowhere to go. They have nowhere to go. Guys. Charge through. Charge through. You've got this. You've got this, lads. I think they're all broken. I think they've all broken besides the artillery units, which we are about to chase down. Now, the other general is on the artillery that they've got left. There's only catapults left. Nobody is manning the, uh, the trebuchets or the other catapults. There's a lot of troops that have routed initially, but have now actually gained their confidence back and are now going in for, I think, a second charge. Are they going for the ram? No, they're actually just walking away from the battlefield. Now, there's some crossbow over here that I would like to sort out. It seems though we're struggling against these catapult units here, so let's see if we can actually get our general out. Although, oh, hang on. Some urban militia here, which are really proving challenging to us, to be honest. Let's get the spearmen back over there and let's just let the heavy infantry do its job. And this is it. They've completely surrendered to the superior English. Look at the amount of bodies that line this gatehouse. Look at that. The cannon tower is still firing off into the distance. Look at the amount of cavalry that the Moors lost there. 
That is epic. The amount of infantry and cavalry that lines the gatehouse of this settlement, of this citadel. But they beat us on the bridge with their far superior artillery, but they will never get through these, these walls at Toledo. Done. It's time to press the attack. This is a clear that is an <laughs> virtue and valor. That is an overwhelming victory. 223 lost against their 1158. Granted, we got a lot of prisoners. And their general as a prisoner as well. Their siege engines lying a ruin over outside the entrance to Toledo. And that was a very, very poor attempt from the Moors. However, they do have a lot of troops looming over us, along with the Spanish. Let's see if they team up, because that could prove to be very challenging. I don't want to risk no, do not do releasing them. Mm. You don't need the ransom. Where are you moving off to? You're moving back together. Are you moving off towards us? No, you are not. Okay, that's... You're moving off over there. They might be going to set sail, you know. Which is the next topic of discussion. We have discovered the world is round. What does that imply? That may imply that there are other civilizations waiting to be discovered. Now, the Spanish are known to go over to the Americas to go and see what is out there. Now, we could actually do the same thing. So, we can build some gun hulks here. And we can probably build some gun hulks here. No, we can build cogs. Cogs, Bordeaux, you're letting us down. Ren, don't let us down here, gun hulks. Absolutely magnificent. Do we get some up here and just meander down here? I think we do. Oh, hang on a second. What? English port, English port. Why have we got two ports here? Is one of them Toledo's? Can we build gun hulks in Toledo? We can. Oh, we can build hulks. That's fine. That's fine. Now before, so three there, three there, and three there. We've got nine. I honestly think that may be enough. I think that might be enough. Now, I was planning on building a lot of artillery and going over to the Moors. However, they seem to have kind of advanced their tactics slightly, so I don't think that will be okay anymore. Seeing as they were throwing catapults at us left, right, and center, I'm thinking now it's probably the wisest choice to not just do that and actually field a, a solid army. And speaking of, we have this army here. Now, rather than send it to the eastern side of the empire, why don't we actually send it somewhere else? I'm thinking to the New World. Let's go and see what's actually down there. There's no need to throw up a new army. And let's actually try and use some of the fortresses and citadels we have around here on our eastern front to see what we can actually do in those settlements and maybe build a couple of armies over there. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Now, Venice is affected. Joffrey is going to die apparently, but that's fine. Now, Bologna, you are unhappy. Why are you unhappy? You out there, you can jump in there. And garrison wise, probably looking at about five units, aren't we? Yep, five units. So let's get two more spearmen in there. You're on a high tax rate. Is that what you're angry? Is that what you're angry? Low tax rate. What's going on here? Unrest. I'm thinking a tavern may solve this. I'm thinking a tavern. There's probably a spy in there as well, isn't there? To be honest. Let's see if we can actually get a spy somewhere. I mean, there's a spy there. There's a Venetian spy there, but that is a very good spy. Me. A lot of spies. Now, you can go down no. there, build a watchtower, and that actually doesn't give us much visibility over anything. Hmm. Yes. If we could build a watchtower go here, no that would give us a lot of vision. Joking, a lot of vision indeed. So you can just jump back in Bologna You're just for a second, here. just while we regroup and recuperate. Now, we do have a mission to go and blockade the port at Ragusa. Now, there's a very large Venetian army there, and I'm thinking, let's get some hulks instead. I think once we've got the three hulks there and the gun hulks as well, we should be okay to go and blockade that port at the risk of losing some ships to their navy. 
I think we'll be okay. Now the army here, I think we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to move this army over here just because of the army that is looming there. Can you jump back into there? You can. So what have we got? We've not got much cavalry, have we? We could probably do with some more cavalry. But again, here we've not got much capability of training some decent troops. So in Innsbruck... And train some feudal knights here. Let's get some feudal knights in there. Let's actually train up some of our army here. We are getting the master armorer as well. So we should be able to get some decent armor upgrades on our troops. Now, agent found Vienna and Venice. So they've got one in Vienna. Which is there. How good are you? You're okay. Hungarian princess and a Hungarian assassin. Okay, right. Vienna, move your nameplate. Hungarian assassin, 69%. Ah, oh, that's because you're not actually that good, are you? Where's Harry? Where's Harry when you need him? Harry? Sire. Harry? We're calling out to you. We're calling out to you. Assassin in the Algiers region. You're going over to go and sort out those heretics. We know that. Spy, spy, spy. We have a lot of spies. Cardinals, cardinal. Assassin. Who do you want dead? Francis the Killer. You're actually not that bad. You're there. Can you kill this guy? 95%. That is what we're looking for. Venetian spy there at 61%. Mm, not the greatest chances, to be honest. 56% on you. Family member, 95%. It's dead. He is dead. Is he still the faction leader? He is still the faction leader. So, we're going to slowly build up our forces. And what we're going to do is we're just going to attack in one big wave. And we're going to sweep across... The Poles, Hungarians, and then eventually the Mongols. And to do that, I am honestly thinking we need to advance further east. Did I say west or east? I meant east. We're going to advance further eastwards, and we're going to have to take out these Venetian settlements. We're going to have to, because these are some very good settlements to have, and I'd rather us have them than have an additional enemy here when we could easily just take them out. So we're going to take this army here, we're going to build some troops up in Innsbruck, and we're going to regroup and push on to capture Zagreb and Ragusa. I just realised why we can't actually find Henry. Because he's just passed away. He has just passed away. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, my assassin. That was an unbelievable, unbelievable assassin. Oh, 47%. Let's not do that. Now, you need to actually jump aboard this... Oh, just a navy there. That's fine. Jump on there. Go back. Go and kill those bloody heretics that are causing us so much grief in Calgary. And then we can actually advance on to Palmero. That should probably take two turns, maybe? I'm thinking two turns. Large city ready to upgrade. Dijon. Congratulations. We'll get some walls upgraded in there. End of turn report. We are first for everything. We are first for everything. Let's keep it that way. Now the Rebel Crusade. Taking a turn back onto the continent of... Yo! They have just... Rioted and revolted. Are you going to attack us? They're coming towards us. They are coming towards us. We saw that. They're merging together. Are you going to... Oh, you're going to attack that army, aren't you? We can't do it. We can't do it just yet. We need our general in there. And we need the cavalry from Innsbruck. No, just retreat. Just retreat. I don't want to take that fight. You've not actually retreated that... Right, well, that was a little bit pointless, wasn't it? Why did you do that? Ah, oh, right, okay. Right, okay, okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Not worried. Not worried at all. Balkan archers. Got some cavalry and some town. I mean, to be honest, it's not the greatest of armies. There's peasants in there as well, but without a general here... I mean, the infantry should be fine and stuff. That is okay. The balance of power seems to be very even. But I'm just hoping we don't, don't take too many casualties here. Because we're going to have to then retrain a lot of troops. Basically, just creating a new army from Innsbruck. We could probably help from like the likes of Stauffen and Metz and Bern as well. But... Let's face the matter at hand, everyone. Let's get into it. Yes, sire. We bring the battle to the enemy. And of course, it is a blasted foggy day. The weather is absolutely horrific. 
which obviously means our mortars will have the best aim in the world. Now, what are we fielding at the front? We've got our archers, we've got the longbowmen, we've got the crossbows as well. I'm not actually that... I'm not actually that concerned with this formation. You know, we'll sit the spearmen on the flanks as well, just in case the cavalry decide to come and pay us a visit on those. The cavalry here... Oh my god. The cavalry is lacking, to say the least, isn't it? Look at this. Oh god, beside the commanding unit... Now, they attacked us, so let's put fire at will on for our mortars, and they're already firing. They are already firing. Now, all of you guys, I want you guys to just turn off skirmish mode and just stay and hold your ground. Just stay and hold your ground. Oh, my God. Please don't heal us. Please don't heal us. Please don't heal us. Please don't heal us. Uh, okay, we're going to have to go and sort them out. We're going to have to go and sort them out. I completely forgot about the trebuchets. I completely forgot about the trebuchets. Right, crossbows are firing. The mortars are also firing. Let's actually let's actually go to the perspective of the mortars. Let's see what they're actually firing on. Oh, that's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. That is gonna miss. Okay, load up, lads. Load up, lads. Just ignore theirs. Ignore them. Ignore them. That side's gonna fire momentarily. Light the fuse and fire. What are you going for? What are you going for? Just heard a charge. I think it's our cavalry. Oh, they've gone straight in there. I like it. Now, our infant, our cavalry. No, no. Why are you guys walking? Oh, no. Please, please, please. No, no, no. Okay, well. Yeah, they're all dead. They're all dead. I didn't want this. You guys go over here, actually. Just go and sort those trebuchets out. <sighs> right, okay. Oh, they've just gone through our... They've just gone through our... Guys, what are these broken lances as well? Right, you, oh, God. Oh, God, this is just going from bad to worse. Okay. Right, is there any cavalry coming in on this side? It doesn't look as though there is. So, I want you guys to come over here. I want all of our infantry to go up in front. I want all of you guys to come up. Go up in front right now. You guys, what are you? Longbowmen. Wait, yeah, longbowmen have broken. Serbian knights, you can go on to them. I want the rest of all of our archers that haven't actually just passed away and are routed go behind this infantry line right now i want everybody to go right now as fast as you can mortars i want you guys firing on these italian spearmen here but they've actually just ran away oh they've just all broken yeah man archers they've just broken i don't think we are winning the battle to be honest i don't think we are winning this battle broken lances they're shaken handgunners there oh, i'm concerned right they've just they've just broken no they've not that's another unit that's another unit come on guys Italian spearmen over there. Oh, there's just a lot of stuff going on over here. You guys go and charge into them. You guys go and charge into them. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to be You need to be very effective right now. You need to be very effective right now. Right, they've just retreated. There's peasants there. That should be okay. They're just going to charge straight into us. Are they spearmen? You need to go and help them. You need to go in there and help. Actually, yeah, you need to go and help these guys right now. Help these guys right now. I think. I think this is it. I think we are just going to completely broke... Well, break. Wait, you need to come down here. We need to just do the, the complete sweep manoeuvre. Peasants there. They're wavering. I'm just not even bothering to look at our cavalry because we actually have none. <laughs> Besides these guys here that are chasing down the handgunners. That's okay. That is okay, actually. We could work with that. We could probably go into the peasant crossbowmen. But let's go into the handgunners first, then these guys, then you guys. Now, the mortars really, really need to sort them. Oh, what have you guys? Your are human archers. Your are human archers. Come and help the crossbowmen over here. Once you're in position, I want you guys firing on these handgunners here. How are you guys doing? You guys are coping. You've actually all grouped. Good. Come over here and help these guys. Come over here and help these guys. You guys are holding. You guys are holding. They've broken. They've broken. They've just been surrounded. Serbian knights. Get them. They're wavering. They're wavering. Have we got anything else left on this flank? No, we've not. No, we've not. Come on, we don't have a commander. But we have confidence. We have God on our side, lads. Come on. Right, there's a bit of a break going on here. We've also got some German knights over here, which are trying to get into our... Come on, get with them. Yep. Don't let them come into our infantry. Do not let them come into our missile units. There we go. That's good. That is what we wanted. Right, there's actually a bit of a route going on in the Venetian lines. There's also some troops coming in over here. What are these? Balkan archers. We should be able to deal with them. Mailed Knights, you are good to come and join us back over here. We've lost a lot of our cavalry. They've broken. They've broken. Handgunners, 
Handgunners. Right, we just need to we just need to actually no 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 no. Let's actually reform. Let's actually reform. Let's just reform here. Let's not actually charge into them. And let's try and let our archers do a bit of work now. The cavalry's got through our lines. They've got through our lines. How? How have you just managed to get through? There was Spearman right there. Spearman, what the hell are you doing? Can you go and attack, please? No, just leave. Leave them. Actually, no, they are what we're dealing with, actually. Yeah, okay, fair enough. We've just lost a lot of these crossbowmen. But it looks as though they're still going to go down. And what are we dealing with over there? The trebuchet is still routing Balkan archers. It looks as though it is primarily just missile units now that we're dealing with here. Yeah. And I don't think we have enough cavalry to deal with them. But we might have just been able to clutch this battle. We might have just been able to clutch this battle. We'll get each of the mortars to fire onto one separate unit. Just one separate unit. <gasps> oh my god, what a shot. What a shot. That was amazing. You guys fire onto these Balkan archers over here. Crossbowmen, you just do you. Just do you. You're, you're, you're doing what we need you to do. Guys, infantry, charge them down. Charge them down. We just need to go for it. We just need to go for it. We've got a bit of a mass route going on. Now, I don't think these cavalry units here are going to be able to do much against these crossbowmen. I don't think they're going to be able to do much against the crossbowmen. We're going to have to get you guys to fire over there. We're going to have to get you guys to go over there. These Balkan archers are dealing some heavy blows towards us, especially these mercenary crossbowmen as well. They're shaking. All of this side has broken. All of this side has now broken. So you guys need to turn around and fight onto these Pavis crossbowmen, and we just need to swing around and get the rest of these Balkan archers and crossbowmen over here. They've broken. Maybe we could just get a full break. Oh, if we win this battle through sheer... I'm not even going to say luck. This was just strategic genius. Granted, we threw our commander away at the start, but nevertheless, it's not about how you start a battle, it's how you end it. And that is how you end it. Now, we don't actually have that much cavalry, so how much are we on? 67, I honestly don't think we're going to be able to get much. Oh my god. 450 lost, and over double for them. I thought we'd lost it at the start there, everyone. I genuinely thought we'd lost it. The routes that was ongoing, I didn't realise how many missile units they had but as soon as we got through their infantry units their heavy and light infantry units and their cavalry as well they just completely broke apart they just fell apart now then yes. no we cannot risk them we cannot risk them now we are definitely what i'm thinking of doing instead now is sending the army that we just used Oh, not another one. Guys, give us a break for two seconds. A Russian spy. Russia, we're on your side. We're on your side. What are you doing? You're going to cause some issues for us, aren't you? Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, God. They're going to cause some issues for us. Poland, what do you want? What do you want? We've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. The Venetians are causing us a lot of issues. And the Moors and the Spanish as well. Are you... You're not moving into our territory, are you? No, you are not. Okay, that's good. We can deal with this. Now, as far as we are concerned, all of these armies here, the Poles, the Hungarians, and the Mongols, only have to deal with the Russians. Well, probably more so the Poles and the Mongols. The Hungarians, obviously, are on the Turkish countryside. So they probably have to deal with the Byzantines and the Turks as well. But it's not looking good. It is not looking good. Now, 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 oh, Bologna is rioting. Well, they were rioting. They're not anymore. They're not anymore. It's because we just took them, so that's fine. And also, there's no plague here. Everybody is happy. This is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. Can we put my attack trait up? No. No, you're not that happy. <laughs> you're not that happy. Now, you're building, you're building. You can probably go back into Venice for the time being. And you, you need to go back to Innsbruck. You need to go to Innsbruck and get retrained right now because... You are lacking some troops here. Now, can we merge some of these guys together to actually just reduce the amount of units that we need to upgrade and regroup? Ooh. 40, 47, you can jump in there. 35, 87. We'll probably get rid of these spearmen and these mailed knights. And the, actually, yeah, let's just get rid of the crossbows. You can go, you can go, and you can go. Now, we will probably keep the spearmen. But what I might do, actually, can we get some heavy billmen here? We can get billmen, but not heavy billmen. Armory will give us the training of heavy billmen. 
perhaps we could do with that. Actually, no, let's just leave that as it is. Burn, what are you doing? What can we do over here in Burn? Not much as well. What are we training here? Earl's Stables. Armor Factory. No, let's get Armored Swordsman here. And we'll just use these three settlements, maybe? Oh, we can get Heavy Billman here. Good, we'll get Heavy Billman there. We'll send them over here. I'd like to keep the Mortars, to be honest. They will probably take this fight, and I don't want to lose any more troops than what we've already lost. Now, faction announcements. Tunish region. A priest. Oh, another priest has gone. Another priest has gone. They are falling like flies at the moment. But they are getting on a bit. Now, we have to deal with these pesky, pesky heretics. Now, where's the other one? The other one was round here. 95% on that guy there. Now, you need to jump back into there. Although you can't. Now, hang on a second. Hang on a s- I don't want to- I- oh. Right, let's just besiege these. We'll maintain the assault. You guys can probably get retrained anyway. Now, we can take two more units. Let's actually take the Yeoman Archers. You can go in there. Now, do we just attack them? I think we probably do. Let's finish them off. Put them to rest for their rioting and revolt. Perkin the Merciless. 10 out of 10 commander. I mean, this is obviously going to be an easy battle, but ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be leaving it there. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments and I will see you all in the next one.